one of the things that a lot of people are uh, suffering from in our times, uh, men and women, is low self-esteem. Right? So you have a very low opinion of yourself. And so when you do find someone who's even remotely interested in you, all of a sudden your world becomes meaningful again because somebody sees worth in you. And this goes back to his self-worth point. Right? And so a lot of people are really gung-ho about getting married to this girl or this guy uh, because it was the first one who came along and they're like, well, you know, lightning don't strike twice. I mean, I know what I look like in the mirror and this person has bad enough of an eyesight to go with this. So, you know, I, I, yeah, I know, I know, seriously. But they have, it's going on inside the head that, you know, yeah, for a lot of people. But the, the, the idea that, you know, nobody else is ever going to come along you know, I have this chance, even though this is not the perfect kind of person for me, but I should settle. On the one hand, we don't look for someone perfect, but on the other hand, you shouldn't be settling also. Uh, and, and especially as a result of a low opinion of yourself, you shouldn't be doing that. That once you fall in love, apparently, or you are obsessed enough, you're infatuated enough, then uh, logic and common sense and reason and rationality goes out the window. So it doesn't matter how much somebody tries to talk sense into you, once you've been like infatuated enough, you're a mule, you're just, you're no good. So if you can come back to humanity a little bit and de detox from your obsession, then this conversation actually makes sense. Because if you've gone far enough down the road, you're too emotionally invested to even think about this stuff. If someone loves you, so someone, they, they'll tell themselves like, if this person really loves me, then they will change for me. So they'll tell themselves that, you know, even though, once again, we may not be compatible, we may have a lot of issues, a lot of differences, but we love each other. And inshallah ta'ala, we'll, we'll make it work. And I know, like, there's things I don't like about her, but I will change her, inshallah. And out of her love for me, she will change. Or she may be telling herself, out of his love for me, it will change. And as they say, love conquers all, right? Have you guys heard that? Love conquers all. So they say, you know what, we'll get through all of this because of our love. And subhanAllah, this is, this is once again one of, one of the main issues that I've seen is that when people get over that infatuation stage, they realize that it's very, very hard to change someone else. And it's really that person who ha has to want to change themselves. And once you're no longer infatuated with the person and it's no longer, you're past that honeymoon stage or whatever they call it, five, six months, four months, two months, depending on who you ask, right? Once you're past that stage, it's very difficult. So I always tell young couples, I say, listen, this person, the way they are in front of you right now, the way you see them, marry them, keeping in mind or, or telling yourself that they're never gonna change. 